Okay, here we are we're at Clark Auction. We're previewing the fine art that is coming up on our sale on Sunday, July the 16th. We have previews three days prior, Thursday, Friday and Saturday from noon to 6 p.m. Sale starts at 10 a.m. However, if you are, with the sale is already up so you can come in any time and view it. There's always a welcome here for you. So we're going to start off a nice sale, a nice collection of art we have, nice eclectic. We're going to start off with this oil and canvas. It's by the Ukrainian-Russian artist David Berlyuk. It's called The Fishing Cabin, I believe. It's got an ACA label on the back, signed lower right. One of the nicest burlicks I've seen. It's also good large size. Look at the heavy impasta on that and the wonderful colors. Great painting, lot number six. Atop that, one of two paintings by we have by the American artist uh, Brian Beckin. Nice beach scene. I believe that's estimated at 1015. To the right, small but nice and ink drawing attributed, attributed to Raoul Dufay little sketch. Below that, one of, I believe, two linoleum cuts we have by Angel Botello. We have a nice section of Latin art in the sale, as you're going to see by this next one. One of my favourites in the sale. This is by Leonardo Neerman. It's uh, abstract oil on board and it's titled Flight to Sun. What beautiful colours. Actually a great size, nicely packaged with the gilt frame and the gilt trim on the painting. Moving to the right here, we have that coastal scene up there. It's by an artist called Eliha Vedder, American artist. Below that, I like this a lot, and so do a lot of people at scenes, Cornelius Volker, German artist, titled Handbags, obviously. It could have been dress, of course, but it's uh, dated 1999. Up here to the right, the second of this nice, pretty little scene by Brian Beckin. Came from a Rye estate. Below this, also from a Rye home. Charles Levier, different type of scene. We have another uh, Charles Levier inside, but signed in the other way he signs. Okay, we're gonna swing over here now. This painting up here of the horse is by an artist called Curtis Miller. That came from actually Park Ridge, New Jersey. Moving to the right, the top little uh, ink there is by David Bates, dated 1988. Okay, here we have this uh, German artist, his name is Heinrich Ziel, quite a sought-after artist, a watercolour. He's an illustrator, he's a German artist, one of two that we have in the sale. And up on top of this we have a photograph by Elliot Erwitt, 1953. Below, also one of my favourites in the sale, thanks to Latin artists, this is uh, Angel Botello. Abstract composition, oil and board, good large size. We've had quite a few Batellos lately. So, so hopefully the same buyers are watching from this. I think it's a great composition, great colour. Up atop that, a uh, nice little still life oil and board by an artist called Scott Pryor, dated 93. This all came from Massachusetts. Below that, two little girls. Angel Botello again, a lino linoleum cut. Below that, we have that star. That's by uh, Robert Cottingham, I believe. And up on top, this, this oil and board, Italian artist came out of Tarrytown. Hope it's viewable, but C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y to see proper images. That's by an artist called Yuri Cooper. And to the right, look at this, I'm just gonna move over there so you get an idea of the size and what a beautiful package this is. Oil and canvas, good large size, beautifully framed, came from a Greenwich estate. It's by a Russian artist called Andrei Smirnov, contemporary, but a great addition to your home. Probably a good investment also. Okay, we're going to swing into the main room. It's just basically so as you can get an idea, a quick zoom around. We have this very large abstract oil and canvas here by uh, Adja Junkers. This, I think I talked about this in the furniture. Bill Mack, Salvador Dali up there, Jasper John's poster, Fazino. I believe we've titled this, it's sort of very Raoul Dufy looking, we've titled them as uh, Illegibly signed, looks like three of them. Watercolours, we have this wonderful poster, Veuve Amio by Caffiola. Up on top there, we have Peter Max, these came from Park Ridge. There's an artist called Patterson, one of the great, great painting beach scene here, but just look at the figures, the, the lines, the colours, and the, you can feel the beach there. That's right over here. I think my photographer and my cameraman's heading off down the back there. Anyway, that's this one here, good large size. The top that, this is one of about five paintings we have from Great Neck Long Island. That's an ink uh, by Chaim Goldberg. Nice big size, great subject matter. Swinging right along here, we have 
Leroy Neiman. 22 of 500, I believe. Over here, we have this uh, Napoleonic scene, oil and canvas, really nice, good large size, probably uh, late 19th, early 20th century. Keeping an eye on the paintings all around, you're going to have to go to clarkny.com to view them. This here is the second illustration by the German artist Heinrich Ziel. Looks like the uh, guy sitting in the station or something like that. Below Martha are the little portraits on bone. Over here, this is a lot of interest in this painting. Once again, C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y, a little bit of cracular, but great subject matter with the kids fishing, large size. Here we have three oils and canvas, all from the same estate, Great Neck, Long Island. These are by Chaim Goldberg, it's sort of all different subject matters. The woman rocking the baby, then coming in with the eggs and the chicken. And there it looks like someone drawing, uh, doing a drawing there under candlelight. Moving right along, so, with my old Irish memory, we won't remember a lot of these, but have a look at any of paintings you see, you'll get an idea of size as we are passing. Here's a nice painting came from Sutton Place, South New York City. It's one of two that we, ha two that we have, Oil and Canvas by Philippe Auger. These are, this is uh, artist Blenet, two of them. Both Oil and Canvas came from the Scarsdale Estate. estate. This painting here is by an artist, Philadelphia artist called Paul King. Really, really great painting. It's called November Morning, but look at the size of this museum, call it museum size, great with the horses. The river there it is as is, so it needs restoration, but uh, I think well worth restoring and a good investment painting. Right along here, here we have Charles Levy on top and signed below here with his, uh, the other way he signs painting is an oil and board, also Levy, but I believe he signed a Verrier. Here we have the second of the uh, Philippe Augers. Moving right along, we've got portraits. Seems to be a bit of interest in this portrait from what I'm seeing. Over here, this is a really, really super duper Venetian scene. It has the original frame, probably 18th century frame, but we have a bit of plastic on it just to, so it's hard to see. But go to clarkeny.com. Once again, up on top of Venetian scene up there. More portraits. Little watercolor, sort of impressive watercolor by Pizarro. Up on top now, with these two oils and boards, illegibly signed, I believe, but really nice compositions. They're selling us one lot. C L A R K E N Y dot com. Top there, 19th century portrait again. Just quickly glimpse around these before I bid you all adieu. We've got eye cards, lots and lots of stuff. So go to C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y dot com. You can come any time and preview these between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Sale is up and running. We're off to Brimfield just for a bit of R&R &R next week. So you can come in while we're there. Once again, sale is Sunday, July 16th. Starts at 10 a.m. Previews three days prior. Thank you and I'll say adieu.